In this video, I wanna share about a month's worth of photography, some different personal projects and commissioned projects that I've been working on over the last month. They're all kind of too small to make their own video about, so I'm piling it all into one. And I think there's some cool photos and process from each one of these projects to share. My month of photography started with this fire that happened under the 10 freeway. I was really interested in this because over the past two years, I've been making a series of freeway landscapes here in Los Angeles. It's a slow ongoing project that I hope to work on over the next few years as well. And when I saw this fire on the news, I knew that I had to go right away the next morning to see if there was an interesting photo here to be had for this series of landscapes. When we got there, to our surprise, there was already a ton of construction going on. The police had fenced off the entire burnt off section of the freeway, and there was a ton of news coverage happening. So that in itself was fun to photograph. We ended up finding a sneaky little side entrance that was not yet blocked off, and we were able to take some photos under the freeway of all of the rubble and the damage that had taken place. And with this golden light, I think there was some really interesting photos that came out of it. But we left pretty early because it was quite dangerous. There was still concrete falling off of the freeway. We went back the next day with hard hats and safety vests, but by then the police had found our little entrance and they had closed it off. So there was really no chance of getting back in there. Something I got to do this month that I was pretty excited about was catch up on some darkroom printing because as you see behind me right now as well, there's always like this giant stack of negatives sitting somewhere in my apartment that is work that's been developed, but I haven't gotten the chance to print yet. I try to do this every month and sometimes it's about two months worth of photos at a time, but I go through and I cut up all of my negatives, organize them into sleeves, contact print them, and if there's any good images, try to make some full prints of them. And for me, this process is really special. I like the darkroom printing partially because of the end result, the look of the images on the beautiful Kodak or Fuji paper. It is really gorgeous. Holding the physical print is super nice, but the other part of it that I enjoy is really just the time that it takes to make these prints. It's a really good excuse to just kind of sit there with your own photos and as you're printing them and you're organizing them and you're working through these different contact sheets of negatives, it's a really good excuse to kind of just spend time with your work and think about the images that you're making on a deeper level. And although this time around it was mostly commissioned projects that I was working through, it is so therapeutic to me and it is one of my favorite parts of the analog photography process. The first was just some prints I made from the Yosemite trip from my Leica CL, which is my 35 millimeter camera. And I don't print 35 millimeter a lot, purely because I don't shoot a ton of 35 millimeter, but I really enjoyed the prints that I got out of the Yosemite trip. I think there was just some really magical light. And my favorite image has to be this stormy cloud covering Half Dome because it's this very cliche view of Half Dome, but what's funny about the image is that you can't see the thing that the image is supposed to be of. That and just the stormy conditions look so beautiful and it came out as this really nice deep blue color in the print, which I was very happy with. And I think 35 millimeter film in particular benefits really greatly from a darkroom print. I think because the negative is smaller, when you print it, 
The grain is just less noticeable. It looks much more natural. The edges don't get like this weird artificial sharpening. And overall, I think it looks really beautiful. The next set of photos I printed was a commission for one of my favorite coffee shops, Canyon Coffee. I did their like holiday shoot for some different products and bundles that they were offering as holiday gifts. They were dropping some merch for the first time, some sweatshirts, some hats, and especially for something that was a little more commercial and kind of e-commerce-esque. It was a really fun shoot. I also made a visit to Kenyan Coffee's roastery that they just opened in downtown Los Angeles. And I got to sneak in there kind of right as the construction was going on, which was really fun because there was just some beautiful like construction process happening. One image in particular is the roasting machine covered in this plastic tarp to protect it from, I think, some painting and some concrete work that was going on around it. But it had this really beautiful sculptural, almost like Greek statue-esque look to it. I was very happy with that image, as well as this one very blue image of some blueprints. They just had beautiful shapes going on and they're blue blueprints, which is kind of fun. The last part of this video is about Ace Hotel in Palm Springs. I had done two different portrait shoots for Ace Hotel now for two different artists that they were featuring. The first was Quenga, who is an incredible dancer and performance artist. And I took his portrait at the actual Palm Springs Ace Hotel location. And I also got to photograph Hyunji Park, who's an incredibly cool bookbinder, incense artist. And anyway, I'm saying all this because after these portraits. I got to stay at the Palm Springs Ace Hotel, which was a really cool experience, super beautiful hotel. And Allison and I took the cable car up into the mountains of Palm Springs, which I had never done before. I didn't know this existed and it was such a mind blowing experience. I'd been to Palm Springs a few times before, but I didn't know that this existed. And it's this tramway that takes you up a mountain, I believe like 8,000 feet in elevation above Palm Springs. It was so breathtaking and beautiful. get up to the top you can hike around it feels like you're in Lake Tahoe or something with all the greenery and pine trees around you and it was a really fun experience so a huge thanks to Madison from Ace Hotel for the stay in Palm Springs and the different portrait commissions It was so much fun to do and some incredible artists to meet and photograph. I think while you're watching this, it's probably the end of the year. So I just want to say a huge thank you for another year of YouTube videos on this channel. Thank you for supporting it. It's been an incredibly fulfilling year and I can't wait to keep making videos in 2024. Huge thank you to you guys. And finally, thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. 
Squarespace is an incredible all-in-one website building platform that you can use to build your photography portfolio online. I've been using Squarespace for so many years now and they've made it so easy to get a website up and running with my photography. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, you can hit the link in my description for a 14 day free trial of Squarespace. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Willem for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. I'll see you guys next year with another video. Thank you for watching. Peace.